hello everyone welcome to my channel this is my first time making my first video about makeup um there are a few things i love with life and one is god um, second is my family uh, my boyfriend my dog and then makeup um, if you guys are wondering uh, my name is julissa and if you guys i uh, wonder why i'm wearing my face today well today i am wearing my one of my favorite palettes which is from Tarte uh, it's one of the smaller newer palettes I'll just drop some more things um, it is their Tarte uh, I know they just launched a newer one but this is one that I got recently this is uh, Don't Quit Your Day uh, Your Daydream by Tarte and it's one of these palettes beautiful palettes it's usually one of my to go to uh, it's what I use a lot of the times uh, what I'm wearing today on, uh, on my upper ones are all over the lid i'm wearing this one all over the eye and then i'm wearing this one as a transition shade and this one down here so those are the two that i'm wearing and then for the lid uh, it's more on the sparkly side and what i'm wearing is this one yeah it's this one and this is the elf i love elf stuff it's one of my favorites and this one is um this is a California Baked Shadow, and I'm wearing this one right here. All up on my lid, beautiful. Um, if you know how to use them, I know a lot of people don't like them, and this is a palette that's not talked about much, but it is a beautiful palette. It's one of my favorites. Um, you know, you just have to get your brush wet with water or whatever else you want to use, and then you just go ahead and dip it into the um the, the shadow you like and then you go ahead and put it on your lid it's beautiful um it does have a little bit of fallout because they are sparkles they do have glitter in them but you know you just it's better than some high-end products that i have used and then for my um for mascara i'm using the urban decay per perversion and i like it uh, i think it looks beautiful in this um on the lashes i don't necessarily think it makes them bigger than what they are already um definitely makes them a little bit thicker i would say uh, makes them definitely darker um it is quite i love the brush though um i love the brush in it i think it's a you know it's one of those it's not and then for the lips underneath um on top right now i'm wearing the um which i just dropped so but um it is the echo park from um color pop it's one wearing on top and underneath as a liner i mean i know some people use them as a liner other people just use them as colors it's really up to you guys it's this one right here and uh, this is the color preline pre preline pre and then i wear the other ones on top but for today, I am going to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite foundations and some that I will never purchase again and I'm actually going to be returning and yes. So, you know, I want to end the video with a good positive note. So I'm going to start with two that I did not like and then we'll go from dislike to like. Um, right here I have the two L'Oreal. Now, I like this one a little bit, but not something that I would definitely go to the store and buy again um, and then I have the I have both kinds you know I have tried mixing them together the reason I don't like this one a lot is because of this one mainly this one right here uh, if you wonder I have combination to dry skin um, but I definitely wear oils and stuff to help my skin um, this one, the problem is this one, the L'Oreal 24 Hours Infallible Pro Glow, and this is the shade 202 Creamy Natural, and if you're wondering what my shade is on this one, this is the 102 Shell Beige. Um, maybe I got a bad batch or whatever, but the, the problem with this is that I wear it, and when I'm blending it out with a beauty blender or whatever, I find it that it leaves some white dots behind and I I don't like it I you know it's annoying having to try to blend them out and I'm sitting there trying to I mean it's just 
I don't know, and I shake it. It's not like, you know, I'm not, I'm not shaking it or anything before I wear it. And then, you know, I go ahead and it is definitely more runny consistency. Um, the shades are beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong, the shades are beautiful. You probably won't be able to see that, but, you know, I mean, I just go ahead and blend it. But, you know, on the face, it leaves like some real white you know some white dots behind and then you know i'm seeing like no i don't know if i can show it to you guys you guys probably won't be able to see it but um they're definitely there i don't know if it's maybe just the foundation um maybe i got a bad batch <clears throat> or an old one or something but it's definitely not my, one of my favorite because of that i don't necessarily think they last one hours I have worn them before and I wear them on my work because your feet that's how I can tell you if the foundation is good or bad because I'm at work I'm constantly running back and forth and mm, they tend to separate in my skin they tend to kind of vanish by the end of the night which I do not like I, and they don't you can tell I'm wearing foundation with them and I do not like it now I'm gonna talk about high end which makes me really sad um, um it's quite tart I love tarts you know, I have, a, I have some of the palettes, and then I have another one of the foundation, and some of the mascaras, and stuff like that. But this is a light medium shade, and it only comes in two different shades. And this is the Tarte uh, High Performance Natural. This is the Marco Your Miracle Found Sealer. The reason they call it a found sealer is because it's supposed to be a concealer in a foundation in one it's supposed to be where you don't have to use um, a concealer to cover in it because it's supposed to be you know high coverage and stuff um it says it has marco john which is definitely the marco your miracle it is very cold has contained vitamin e cucumber seeds and mineral pigments and it is cool to free it's always was for me um it, you know and I wish they had more shades in this one and they only have light medium and medium to deep and you know of course I got the light medium and the, I love what I love about heart is how cute you know and how nice the packaging is it, I mean you definitely pay a good price and you pay also for the packaging which is really nice uh, and then I love that they come in a drop you know, you can always, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to pour too much out and stuff. It's wonderful. The bad thing about the foundation is its smell and the way it looks on the skin. Uh, and not necessarily the way it looks, but the color that it has for the skin. It has almost like an alcohol -y smell to it. Maybe again, I got a wrong batch. Um, but, and I did buy it off the Tarte website. It has an uh, alcohol smell to it. It's quite strong. I mean, right when you open it up, you can smell it. If you don't mind about the smells, then that should be fine. Um, but the problem was with it is when I went to put it on, uh, you know, I was super excited. It looks it looks good. It doesn't look orangey or anything. But once you put it into your skin, one drop there right there, the smell, definitely strong. And then you go ahead and blend it out. And then I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, but no. And then it doesn't look orangey, as orange as it looks in person. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it is nothing compared to what it looks supposed to be here. It's more of like a yellow orange tone when you were to put it on. Um, yeah, I really wish you guys could see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys can, but it's it's too dark, too orange for my skin, which I mean, you know, makes me sad. Even when you blend it out, it has a smell. I think it's almost smells like maracuja oil and alcohol mixed together. Um, but it's definitely too orange, too dark for my skin, which made me really sad. I, you know. I'm more on the lighter, like you can tell, skin color. Uh, so if you are more into the, I'm pretty sure if you have more of a yellow tone and you're more on the 
medium kind of skin color definitely might work for you and you might like it as long as you don't mind smells but those are two of the mostly two of the main reasons why i do not like this one the smell i mean which i don't care much about and then that color color range horrible which i'm a little bit surprised because i mean it is dark and then now i want to go ahead and talk about my favorite foundations and then i will be between the tools to show you guys um, my other favorite foundation, which is also from Tarte, and I'm in love with this foundation. It is one of the newer foundations, I mean a lot of people love it. It is a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in shade Light Neutral. Um, this foundation, like the other one, has a droplet and it's a beautiful packaging. Uh, the color is definitely what it looks like. Uh, it's not orangey on my skin or anything. Um, it doesn't have like a smell like the other one. The other one has a stronger smell. Uh, definitely, it works perfectly for dry skin. This is a more water foundation, not like many others. And it's just, it feels beautiful. It looks like it's your natural skin. It definitely doesn't look like you're wearing something on your face. It doesn't oxidize or anything like that. So it's definitely one of my favorites. I love this foundation. Definitely highly recommend it over the other one. Um, shades or oh, has many many different ranges of shades from lighter to darkest and then now moving on to more drugstore uh, foundations I'm gonna go ahead and go with my lower uh, my Revlon color stay and you know it claims to be 24 hours I don't know I have actually now worn it for 24 hours I think the max would be 12 hours if so um, it looks beautiful on the skin if you're wondering this is shade 220 natural beige and this is a combination to oily i know they have another one uh, which is i believe is a combination to dry skin and uh, they're both great um and i mean i do have dry skin but i like this one better than the other one um definitely and this one also has spf 15 and i love that it comes with a pop but I, guess I don't wear this one alone. Um, it's a little bit darker for me. Uh, on the summertime, I would definitely be to wear it alone, but right now I can't. And the only foundation that I love, love wearing it with, which I tend to mix it with, is the Fet Me by Maybelline. And this is the shade 115 Ivory. This is the Dewy One. The smooth. I love these two foundations together. It gives the perfect... Uh, perfect looking skin it's not it's not matte but it's not oily kind of looking like way too shiny it is perfect and then you have the matte for this which i mean it's all right i mean if you have more if you have dry patches i would not definitely i uh, do not try this one i would i would say i mean when i had dry patches usually kind of around the nose if i had the flu or something and i was constantly sneezing or you know Usually when you have acne sometimes, it tends to dry, you know, things like that. This would definitely cling on them, so definitely do not try it. I mean, it depends on you. It's really if you don't mind. But um, other than that, if, you're, if you have no dry patches, I've been doing this. I changed my routine lately, so it's definitely looking a little bit different. But I haven't tried it recently, so I will definitely try it recently and keep you guys posted on it. But definitely two of my favorites that are usually my always to go to and usually when I go to work, I either wear these two or my tart. So these ones are the ones that are my every day when, when it comes to work. And these ones by the end of my the day of work, I mean an eight hour shift, it looks beautiful. And I mean I'm at work, it's not like I'm sitting, you know, I'm running back and forth, you know, I'm, I work as a CNA, so I mean I'm Cleaning, I'm cleaning people, I'm changing people, I'm giving showers, you know, and this, I'm sweating. It stays on, it's wonderful. And then another foundation that I don't necessarily wear long. I don't know what happens to me. Every time I go to the store, I pick a shade and I end up picking always a dark, dark shade. You know, and it's hard because you can't always, you know, go ahead and take out the top and then swatch them and stuff. But definitely it's a little bit too dark for me. So I definitely will be trying this one more in uh, summertime when it gets tanner and stuff. But this is beautiful. I mean, it looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't look overly kind of gloomy on the skin. It doesn't look kind of like 
doesn't look like he's wearing too much illuminating stuff in the face. No, it's just more of a... Um, it's in between matte and kind of gloomy. It's more like satin kind of look. It's a beautiful look. Um, definitely, and I love the looks as a pump. And if you wanted to see, I don't know if I already said, sorry, but this is the N3 Neutral. Beautiful foundation, it looks wonderful on the skin. I usually mix it if I have foundation that is lighter, like this one, but I I do not wear this one. I don't like it. But if I did like it, I probably would mix that one with this one, make it a little bit lighter. Beautiful on the skin. And then for my last, you know, BB cream, I would say it's not really a foundation, it's a BB cream. I have my favorite, and I know not a lot of people talk about it. And you know, I will hopefully be trying the new CC cream by I think it's Physician. Um, no, Physician was um, one of the newest CC creams that everyone rages about. And I'm gonna be trying this one, and then I'm gonna be trying the other one. Um, let me see if I can. Okay. So definitely, um, I love this one. It's the BB cream Garnier, and I don't. Do not hear much about it. I don't hear people talking about it much. I don't know why. Um, they're wonderful. They feel wonderful. And that is actually what I'm wearing today. You know, and I had a, you know, you can see I have a little acne there. I have some scarring. It's not bad, but. And this thing claims to have five in one Miracle Skin Perfectors. And I can't tell you if the claims are true. Um, but what I can tell you is, after I take it off, my skin feels more hydrated, more lifelike, uh, definitely looks beautiful. I mean, you don't... Um, and then I have the normal to dry skin, and then this one right here, it is a oily to combo skin. I prefer this one, the oily to combo skin, even though I have more combo to dry skin. The reason is because this one is more like a foundation is more on the runny side and this one is more like a hand cream which putting it on in the face it's more like a thick mousse consistency it is definitely um thicker sorry i should probably clean that up it's i do and then every time i do it just gets so much it gets messy i don't know how um but you can definitely see it's more of like a creamy consistency and then this one right here which i have to always be so careful with it's definitely more of a runny see it show you guys you see that it's more runny more but the shades only comes in two different shades um it comes in the light medium and the medium deep the medium and deep is definitely a dark darker one um i don't necessarily I mean, the thing with them is you can blend them out and they, you know, at first they look like they're not going to match your skin color because, you know, they do look a little bit on the darker side, especially for, for lighter skin. But what I do is after I blend them out, I go ahead and I go ahead and get my beauty blender and then I go ahead with my beauty blender and then I go over it on top. I usually go over it with my fingers. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I feel like, you know, instead of putting so much product on my face, I'm putting enough just to put like a tiny smooth layer, and then I go with my beauty blender. So that's what I usually like. So this is what it is right here. Um, and then when you mix them together, you can see this is a more creamy, and this is more like, which is one of my favorite because it's more like easier to blend out. This one is a little bit more of a thicker consistency. But when you blend it out, it looks quite on the skin you know don't know if you can tell see it just it blends out into the skin beautifully and it also has a smell but it's it's, it's a sm not a heavy smell it's a more like a smooth perfume smell which if you don't like smells and you probably won't like it but i mean i think it makes the skin look Pretty. I mean, it's not like a high coverage, it's more like a light to neutral, kind of more natural skin. Kind of, I mean, it's supposed to be a baby cream. Oh, wait. Oh, I just dropped that one, so it's yeah. 
So it's definitely, I would say, give it a try. I mean, if you don't like it, you can always return it. You can get it at Walmart, Walgreens, different places. But it's one that definitely, when I don't feel like wearing foundation, when I want more of a natural look throughout the day, this is what I usually wear. So thank you guys for watching my videos. I mean, this is one of my first ones. So hopefully, I will definitely be making more videos. Join me. Um, so if you guys have any questions, or if you guys want to know a little bit more about me, just go ahead and... Um, Post your questions on the bottom right over there. And then I will go ahead and reply back to you guys. Thanks for watching and I hope everyone has a beautiful day.